Bless you guys. Hi everyone. This is Urantian Artist welcoming you to a podcast that will be on my Urantian Artist channel. I want to thank all of you for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos about our Heavenly Father and Jesus' plan for us to grow spiritually and to desire to have the gift of our Father in Christ Michael for an eternal life career after our mortal career is finished. May I introduce my associate, Callie. Hi everyone. Today we're going to start our first podcast, which will be about Christ Michael's voice as he lived his bestowal life on our planet, Urantia. In the Urantia Revelation, there is a lot of description about his mortal voice, and that is what we want to share in our first podcast. Callie, would you first share the dictionary definition of voice? According to the dictionary, what it's saying about voice is it's the sound produced in a person's larynx and uttered through the mouth as speech or song. They also say that it's something that expresses in words and it's how you utter your speech with a sound, with your voice, with the vocal cords. Now we know that he was named Joshua ben Joseph by his parents, but Joseph did know Hebrew and Greek, and Jesus was given a Greek scriptures by Alexandria relatives when Joseph and Mary rapidly fled Bethlehem and went to Egypt for two years. Callie, you, I know the other day you told me something about the Greek name of Jesus. Could you share that? Yes. When I was looking up about Jesus' name, you know, I was thinking, gosh, he was named Joshua. How does it come to Jesus? And so what it says was that Jesus is a Greek name, and it is supposed to be for the name Joshua, but it doesn't really translate over. But what it really translates into is the God, Jesus, the God. Jesus. Oh, and, and now, so you get that from um, the beginning of the name means what? So, for example, J, J E, it could be the, mm -hmm. and then the Seuss part is the part that means about God. So Jesus could could be translated in Greek to the God. Okay, that's very interesting. Now, to Today we're going to read some quotes that tell us about Jesus' voice. And we will first read about his voice when he was at the temple in Jerusalem to become a new son of the law who was about to be consecrated as a citizen of Israel. Your ancient artist, tell me about Christ Michael's voice. Well, when I think of his voice, I remember the places in the Revelation where it calls his voice a fascinating voice, mm. a voice earnest and sincere, a voice that's musical but authoritative. Mm. And um, then it tells about his uh, Jesus' his voice at his baptism and also how they heard the voice of God which was actually his, um, his thought adjuster, yes. the spirit of the Father. And then uh, there's another place where it calls, says his, his voice of person, we hear the point, voice of the personalized adjuster. And we have Jude's testimony of the voice and um, called and it's called said a musical voice when he appeared to his family after the resurrection and his and uh, um, then his brother James hears his voice and recognizes his charming personality so interesting of all the different ways that they were trying to describe Christ Michael's voice, you know? Yeah. Fascinating, musical, unusual. Um, and what I love so much is 
the ending when you were talking about his Maranja visit, right? When he mm-hmm. visited his brother and how he said that because of his voice, he recognized his charming personality. Mm-hmm. I mean, what a link, you know? Right. That our voice is expressing our personality, right? And our personality comes from? The Father? Our Father, our Heavenly Father. So here's the Father, right? The Universal Father having his thoughts, right? His beautiful, amazing thoughts and plans for the Son. And then the Son comes down and expresses his thoughts into the words, using his voice and giving us the revelation of the Father. It's beautiful about Christ Michael. It is. Okay. Callie, could you talk to us now about how we are going to hear uh, Christ Michael's voice now that he's not living on the earth? Well, since Christ Michael is no longer with us, I would say that it would usually we would think it would be impossible. But since he sent back the spirit of truth to us, it's through the spirit of truth that we'll be able to continue to hear him always throughout all the ages to come. All we have to do is, you know, believe in Christ Michael's message to us about the Father, have faith in his, and trust in the truth of his message, and... His spirit of truth will come to us in our mind and we'll be able to continue to hear his voice. Now I remember there's a quote that says this spirit of truth will become in each of us a well of living water springing up into eternal life. Okay? That's beautiful and that's so well said. You know, it's about having the connectivity with our Creator Father. Michael and because he is the vine and we are the branches he's telling us that we will always be able to be connected to him in other words we will always hear his voice in other words because he is the good shepherd and we are his good sheep which we are am I yes, wrong that, that's right, that's right. because of these two facts we can be we can be 100% certain that we can hear Christ Michael always and know his will and hear of his truth that he so wants us to hear so we'll come to him right but do you think you're an artist yes and it is so beautiful to know that his spirit of truth that he's given us is a duplicate of his spirit that he received um, as a mortal on this earth and in a way it's just almost like having double from the Father, you know, because yeah. we have the gift of the Father, um, and then we have another gift from the Father, from Jesus, as well as his own. So, um, it sounds like we have so many gifts from yes, him. Yes, really, and uh, we should have trust and faith that they will guide us and uh, help us to grow spiritually and help us to become perfect as our Heavenly Father is. So wait, what you're saying is that I can still hear Christ Michael's fascinating voice, unusual voice, musical voice, yes. but in my heart, through my journey and my personal experience of finding the truth and being guided mm-hmm. by Christ Michael? Yes, yes. That is so beautiful, the gifts that he gives us. And... Uh, and he said that it would help us to remember and understand his message. And uh, the, um, the good news that he came on earth to teach us. Right, the good news of mm-hmm. the revelation of the Father, and that we're all brothers and sisters, yes. and a beautiful plan. I mean, he's saying it himself when he says he's the way, right? The truth and the light, yes. Definitely. And being that he's our creative father, our infinite father, and we are his finite children, Yes. it's only fitting that when we hear his voice, 
that something inside us will become activated. You know? Right. It's like when I hear my dad voice calling me, I'm going to run. That's so right. if I hear Christ Michael's voice, I must really be running to him. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> we definitely want to be. Have you ever had experience, your ancient artist, where, where you've, you've heard Christ Michael's voice? Have you? I, I really have. And uh, um, it's a sacred experience. Yeah. But I did um, have that experience of literally hearing his voice and him, um, having him call me by name. And it was in a dream uh -huh. that I had uh, probably two years before I discovered the Urantia Revelation. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'll never forget that because it was so personal. And hearing him call me by my earth mortal name and well, maybe I can say this much. I, I, in my dream, I, I saw a feast of food, you know, yeah. that was laid out. But unusually, it was at a slant, and yet it was there. And so it was, you know, I walked out and at one door, and there was this table that was going upwards and I was I had been on a long walk and a long journey and so I was hungry and so you know I began to partake of it and then I felt oh I shouldn't be doing this because you know it was like I was hungry and I yeah. wasn't sure whether I should be eat, eating this food right. and then I look up and I saw Jesus, and he was standing at the top, and he just said, my name will say, your ancient artist. artist. <laughs> he said, partake of all you want. There's enough for everyone. And it was just, it was, and I, I just woke up with, with tears in my eyes, and I could hardly, I mean, it was just like I'd heard his voice, and I did. That's a beautiful dream, your ancient artist. It, it really reminds me of the time when Christ Michael stood up, and he was inside the synagogue, and he was talking about, um, hanker not after the meat which perishes, but rather seek for the spiritual food that nourishes, even to eternal life. And this is the bread of life. Yes. That the sun gives to all who will take it and eat. Right. You know? Right. And that's a beautiful dream, Ranch and Thank you. It just goes to show the power and of our Creator Father. Yes, yes. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that story with us, your ancient and artist. Thank you everyone for joining us on this first episode of The Voice of Christ Michael. I just want to make a small note that everything will be in the link that we spoke about and so you'll be able to look up for yourself and read the beautiful excerpts um, about Christ Michael's voice. And please comment below what you think his voice would sound like and if you've heard his voice, please tell us below. We'd love to hear about it and we look forward to seeing you on our next episode that's coming up shortly we're going to do an episode every week maybe more we'll see how it goes and we'll see we'll, how everyone likes the podcast thank you so much your ancient artist thank you callie <laughs>